listening to the podcast, What's Next? From and with Carmen Cornelia Hasselwanter. As an expert in self-determination, I deal with topics such as success, joy of life, passion, and health, so that you may take many inputs for yourself. Enjoy listening to this episode. Today is the 1st of February. That means that already 31 days of the new year 2023 had been passed by. Doesn't feel like, right? When you think about it, it's like, oh wow, where have all these days been? Really? Well, our calendar really shows that. So now let's think back shortly. And remember what you have really told to yourself on this very one day, 31st of December 22. Wasn't there this list you actually created in order for you to make sure that you definitely do not forget for the 1st of January, for the new year, to have involved certain routines, which you do know makes your life much better. And as a matter of fact, you know, you already had been planned several times. And now, being here on the 1st of February, you realize that as a matter of fact, most everything on this list had been simply been on the list and not be involved, included into your normal day. Now, what to do? I have to say that by the time I was living in Greece, in the country of godness and mythologia, I in, got introduced to this very beautiful tradition. It's called Kalomina. Now, I love that. Kalomina means actually good month. So, happy good month. Now, you have to imagine wherever you go in Greece, on this very first of each month, February, April, July, September, people greet each other by saying Kalomina. What a beautiful way, because immediately people are rising up their face, their smile, their eyes, and everybody is greeting it like that. And as a matter of fact, what really happens is that you recognize in this very, very moment that this is a new option, a new chance for you to make the best out of your life. You don't do this with saying simply good day. A day is like, oh, simply, yeah, they are like this 24 hours, while the month itself has this credit out of 30 days, 31 days. Now you have another 31, 31 days in which you may make the best out of your life. And let's come back then here on this list. What have you written on your list? What items have you concluded you wanted to make sure that this is now part of your normal life? May this now be that, for example, you start to do more sports. So come on, get up and get your sport shoes in order to get out and to really make a cool walk or jogging or running, whatever, you know, you feel like. But take care. Depending where you are, myself now being in Switzerland on the top of the mountain, everywhere you have a lot of snow, you need to make sure that your sport shoes are definitely also having spikes on. Hmm. Well, thanks, it exists as well, so we just do not want that, you know, you're ending up on the hospital simply by your intention of doing good things for your body. Because let's face it, your body is truly a wonder world. It's unbelievable what you really can do with your body. I mean, imagine now you have this incredible piece of art, which by itself is making everything in order for you now to listen to this podcast, but as well to look out of the window and see this incredible beauty all around us, what nature actually built up. So what does this mean? You may now really say that your body is not only a wonder thing, you may now use it in order to experience as much as beautiful. Let's face it now that this wonder piece, which is truly your own, your only piece, what is your own, is your body, and you carry it with you every day, no matter what you dress it up with, no matter what makeup you put on your face, no matter what you take out of thoughts and what you share with others, your body is the way it is. So it can, it has, it shall be really treated well. 
because the way you treat it is actually that the how long you actually stay on this earth so make sure that you are making it well that you treat it well like a piece of treasury because this out of my opinion it is truly your body a piece of art a piece of treasury which shall be treated well so that means that instead of fast foods spoil it with good natural yeah vegetables which you buy and you cut by your own hand and then you cook it and let's be honest it's much nicer if you cook something yourself instead of just going to a fast food company and put a lot of pommes french fries in your mouth same goes for drinking instead of taking all these sweet drinks you shall only drink pure water our body actually exists out of 70 75 percent of water so why not spoiling it with water the water acting is something incredibly fresh over the years i have started the day before i even go to the toilet to drink a glass of water as a matter of fact i have a bottle of water just near my bed and even during the night when i wake up i drink water and this actually really makes my body much better feels better and so does the skin look like and ladies we all know that's also something we want to make sure that we look at it well so there we go we have the sport we have the food we actually spoil our body with and then there is another very very important thing which shall be part of our three angle in our today's podcast issue and that may be the attention the awareness whatever you put your attention and awareness on is going and is making your day now you see we talked about the month of january and that factly is past so you cannot change it anymore which means at the same time whatever you look at it and however you look at it and you say now mm, i did not really follow up my plan my to-do list may now make you feel bad and then you feel guilty or and that's what i'm intending to push you and to encourage you is that you look at it now at the now the first of february in that case meaning that no matter what day we have today it is on your decision it is on you what you make out of this day so instead of looking back in the past which you anyway are unable to change it you may create your now your today so that means that everything what you have in mind stopping to drink alcohol for example or you know to smoke less or even stopping at all you know quitting everything is a decision which you make in the now and you also involve it and act it into now so creating your good future starts today and therefore look it up your lists what you wrote on the 31st of december or whatever you know make up your mind now what and how you want to make the best out of your days ahead of you because there's another fact my dear listener our time is counted we all know we don't know how many days we have and i personally believe it's a blessing because that means that whatever you do you do with a good spell and with a good hope that whatever you do is going to make your life much better and in order to go for this decision it is clearly a good way in starting today so please listener of this podcast what's next start with your what's next by involving and including more sport spotting and include much better food into your daily life and of course focus on now and not on yesterday because your creation of tomorrow is happening today thank you for listening to your mindset mentor talk to you very soon again and in the meantime make sure that every day you live yourself in the best version because you're worth it
Take care. All the best. Bye-bye.